coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with a little bit of a lifestyle video. I posted on my Instagram or Insta stories. If y'all don't follow me there, you yeah, don't know what you're missing. I mean, this is real life changing educational content on my Instagram stories, just saying. I posted a poll on my Instagram stories and I said, hey, all right, I started to notice how compulsive I am when it comes down to the upkeep of my home and how I organize things. Um, and I noticed because my oldest son is the same way and so when he does it, it's a little more obvious to me. I'm like, oh, that's so cute that he's doing that. And I'm like, wait a minute, he got it from me. And then I'm a little proud but a little embarrassed at the same time. Anyway, so I said, hey, would you guys want to see um, kind of like my favorite organizers, what I use in my house to make organizing more efficient. Now, I did want to tell you a couple of things. First, I am a little compulsive. I do sort of have like a control issue when it comes down to cleanliness or organization. Um, not where if I don't do something, I'll get stress or anxiety. Not that compulsive, um, but for me, it's sort of a sense of relaxation. So whenever I'm able to clean, organize, rearrange things, it helps me think of other things or rather not think of what's stressing me out at that moment. So it's a way of me to kind of decompress. So I've learned to clean and organize as a coping mechanism when life is stressing me out. Um, so it's almost like the reverse. I don't know if you guys have met people that have a certain way of organizing things and they do it because they have control issues, right? And I do have control issues, but it's when I don't have kind of a firm grasp on what's going on in my life, I'm like, well, at least I can control my underwear drawer. You know what I mean? <laughs> Does that make any sense whatsoever? Anyway, so for me, organizing is cathartic, it's relaxing, it de-stresses me. And for you, organizing cleanliness or having a system might stress you out. So this is one of those things where this video is either totally for you or totally the worst thing possible on the planet and you might not live through it. You know what I mean? Like it might make your eye twitch because organizing gives you anxiety. So we are going to go through my house and I'm going to show you maybe four, five, six of my favorite organizers or systems of organization. So it's going to be all over the place. It's going to be makeup. It's going to be underwear. It's going to be socks. It's going to be kitchen pots and pans. And I think it might be useful because it is early in the year and a lot of you guys have been inspired by the Marie Kondo method of joy. Um, and you might be reorganizing your life. So there might be some things that might inspire you to, I don't know, color coordinate your underwear drawer. So shall we? All right, y'all. I'm taking you guys where the magic happens. We're in the bedroom and we are going to talk about something very, very sexy like socks. So this is the very first organizer <laughs> that I want to show you guys. Um, I don't know what it is about small clothes like socks or underwear, but I feel like if it's visually organized, um, it gets used better. Do you guys have like a favorite pair of socks? I do. And you destroy them in a few uses. Um, and so I feel like this is a lot easier to hold yourself accountable to going through your clothes, seeing how many you have, see if there's a color that you're lacking. Like every single time you take out those booties and you realize, dang, I need these type of socks. This kind of gives you a visual layout of the type of socks you already own, the type of shoes they would work with, which ones you're using more, which ones you're using less, or if there is a sock that you need to add because there's a shoe that you're not wearing because you don't have the type of sock. Does that make sense? So these little organizers are really cool because um, you can customize the length of them, um, not necessarily the depth. So I do mine um, horizontally, but I guess you could turn them and do two vertical sections, but they're just like puzzles. So I don't know if you guys can tell here, this one kind of fell apart on me. 
it just snaps into place. So it comes in strips and then you just kind of pop them into place and you can make it as long as you want. So this is how I organize my socks. If you guys wanted a little organization porn, I'm just gonna give you a little teaser. These are my jeans. <laughs> okay, let's move on to something a little sexier, my panty drawer. So this is how I organize my underwear and my bralettes. These are actually dividers that I purchased for lipsticks. So a few years ago, these organizers went semi-viral um, because you can tell the little slots that it has. So technically each of these boxes gets divided into four um, and everyone was organizing their lipsticks with these dividers in their Alex drawers. So I feel like if you organize your lipsticks this way, you can't see them and you're not gonna use them and you're gonna keep them in a drawer for months and they'll never be used. I need to see my stuff. So same thing with underwear. I know exactly how many whites I have. You can tell my favorite color is the nude because it's dirty right now. Um, and so I know what I have clean, what I have dirty, what I need to replace. Really? This guy. This guy always stealing my thunder. Um, so I kind of know. Like I knew for New Year's that I had two pairs of red underwear that I was okay. I was set on that. Um, I have way too many darks. I don't even use as much dark clothes. So it kind of gives you... A visual inventory of what you have um, and if you need to do laundry. I used to throw all my underwear in a drawer like this. These are my cotton panties. These are the ones that only come out when you know when they need to come out. And so I used to have them all like this and I would go and want to wear white jeans and I didn't know that I didn't have any nude underwear clean because my drawer looked like that. So when I started organizing it like this it helped me keep a really good inventory and almost accountability on how I was doing my laundry and if I was living my best life. This is how the lipstick organizers come. So you can tell mine are many different sizes. Um, they come in very long strips. All you have to do is cut them to the size of your drawer and then lock them into place. So technically you can skip every third slot, you could skip every second, you could do every first slot. You do them however they work for you, um, but they are very easy to cut. I don't know if you've seen that. Um, I didn't even actually have to cut them. I just kind of snapped it back and forth. Um, and they're very affordable, so you can get creative with what you store in these. You could even do like little Play-Doh organizers or um, those LOL dolls that a lot of little girls play with right now. Um, you can have like little doll containers in a drawer, maybe like in an Alex drawer. So I thought they were pretty nifty and handy. I do the same thing up here. Hopefully it's organized. Um, these are my bralettes. So these are the bras that I wear under like a cute sweater, a cutoff shirt, um, something that's backless, um, maybe like a maxi dress. So I have so many bralettes that I need to keep them organized organized in a way that I know which ones I have. And so I used to actually just have them all layered in a flat layer in this drawer. I had no idea what color bralettes I owned. Now, when I roll them up like this, I know exactly um, which ones I have. And these are the organizers that I have for my socks. So do you see the difference in the drawer? I mean, the length of this drawer is maybe 14 inches. Um, and I have the organizers in here um, vertically and then in the <laughs> in the sock drawer I have them organized horizontally so they're out this way as opposed to lengthwise this way and so they do the same purpose but they accommodate my needs. Some essential organizers that really allow you to do whatever you want are these from the container store. So these are just shoe boxes. They're their classic container store shoe box and they fit in almost any place that you put them in. You can do whatever you want with them. You could store shoes in them, your paper crafting, uh, you could do like a mini filing system with them. They are so size friendly. Um, I use them for a bunch of things here at my house especially for organizing the boys toys but I wanted to show you guys an option that maybe you didn't think about I have this um, 
dresser or sort of I don't know it's like a it's like it's a dresser but it's a smaller dresser so keeping it organized is really hard because even though the furniture itself is uh, small the depth and the size of the drawers are really big so um, I need a creative way to keep things organized and to maximize the space so I used to just throw all my bathing suits in here and it was a nightmare every time I needed to find a set now this way I know that these are all my padded and wired tops. These are my soft tops. These are my bottoms and these are my one pieces. So everything is exposed. I can see everything that I have so I can hold myself accountable to finding things, using things, doing my laundry. Um, and I mean, <laughs> if we're gonna be honest, it looks pretty. <laughs> okay, so now we're in the bathroom and I don't wanna brag too much about this organization system because I haven't done my best to upkeep it. Um, but right now it's pretty organized. Um, this is an organizer from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is two drawers. Um, it's supposed to be for under the sink um, and this is my super helpful, convenient way. So you can see these slide out. So you store them under the sink, you pull out, and then you're able to see what you have. I use it just for organizing my masks. Clay masks, um, hydrating masks, overnight masks, sheet masks, they're all in here. And I like this top portion of the organizer because, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's little, little dividers in here. Do you see those little? little bars and so I have what do you want to say do you want to show them your organizer the dogs actually have an organizer for their clothes and leashes <laughs> I wasn't gonna include it do you want to give them a tour I wasn't gonna include your organizer no I was not you want to show them <laughs> So yeah, I have them organized by category. Um, I do brightening masks, hydrating mask, uh, pore refining, deep cleaning, anti-aging, and then these are all like my detoxifying or after sun masks. So there's sort of a system to this madness, although it might not look that way. Um, and then down below where the pockets are deeper, is where I have my lip, hand, and um, eye patches, and then all of my masks that come in tubes or jars, and my little applicator and brushes and stuff like that. So I fretted the idea of showing you certain areas in my house because they aren't as clean as I would like them to be, but then I realized, guess what? Real life, and uh, we're gonna deal with it. So underneath a lot of my cabinets, what I've done is I've installed these, um, drawers or pull-out systems. I found mine at Lowe's. Um, you can find them on Amazon as well and they are a breeze to install. I don't remember what they're called but obviously I will link all of this in the description box below. So when we built this house I made the awful decision of picking dark cabinetry and I can't find anything in my drawers. Nothing in my cabinets. I can't see anything. It is a nightmare. So I installed these little pull-out trays and so if ever I'm looking for something all I need to do is pull it out do I always pull it out no has it made my life a trillion times easier absolutely 100% I went ahead and installed these all over my house under sinks in the kitchen I'll show you guys they come in a different variety these are the ones that are just the flat base like the one layer they have others that have a trash can on them. They have others that have top and bottom shelves. So I'm gonna show you those in just a second. Okay, so now we are in the kitchen and I told you I was gonna show you the variety of these um, little slide out drawers. So here in this cabinet, you can see how dark the cabinets are, isn't that lame? <laughs> You want to make an appearance? So so over here on this side we have the very heavy KitchenAid mixer and so me with my zero upper body strength this really helps me out. Um, on this side I have the double layer or the double drawer pull out system. You install it the same exact way. It's just as easy to do this than it is to do this and you can do it yourself. I did it myself. Um, so in this one I have uh, it pulls out and I have my toaster. Um, on the bottom I have my my um, crock pot and my rice cooker um, so you can see how easy it is to access your um, stuff I'll show you guys over here on this side this is where I have like my nonstick um, cookware so I just pull it out on the bottom 
I have a few pots. So these are the double, like the double layers. Again, makes it so easy, so visually appealing, and so helpful to find all your items. Plus it holds you accountable to how you organize your things. You know, you know there is a place for everything. So my most proudest discovery, my, I'll just show you. So I don't know if you guys can see, you can't because it's a secret. So I found this lid organizer at Ikea. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm going to see what the hype's all about. Did you know how much my life has improved organizing my lids? <laughs> how hard is it to find lids when you need the matching lid? Do you know what I'm saying? So let's pull out all of my lids. This is kind of hurting my heart just a little bit having to do this, but I want to show you guys this amazing, amazing contraption. So basically it's an accordion with little bars. Um, and all you do is you kind of extend it to the width that you want. So let me show you guys. So when you see it at Ikea, it actually doesn't even have these little poles. These you have to screw on yourself when you get it. So it comes detached. So it's just a bunch of little bars and an accordion looking thing. And you're like, what is this? Holy mackerel. It makes your life so much better, you guys. So let's say that your lids are a lot taller or your cabinets are a lot taller. Um, you could actually bring this in and make it smaller and it holds them up a lot straighter. My cabinet, I split it in two, remember? Because I have this like slide out shelving system. Don't look at my recycling. Um, <laughs> because I split it, it decreased the height of the cabinet. So what I do is I pull this out as far as it'll go and then the lids actually go down on an angle and it allows for me to properly store the lids in the exact width that fits in this little area. Do you see that? So it goes from front to back, perfect size. Um, I don't know why I'm so excited about a lid organizer. Clearly you could use this for other stuff. You could put this on your desk with files. You could do um, Tupperware lids. You could organize a bunch of stuff on here. You could even, let me show you guys. You could even take this, open up one of these cabinets. So this is where I do my serving ware. And you could actually decrease this to the width of your plates or the cabinet size. And then as opposed to storing your dishes like this, you could store them standing up. And that's it, y'all. I'm out of bag of tricks. This is all I have for you. Um, I know it may appear that I have all my life organized, but clearly I don't. All right, you guys, I think that's it for this video. Like all of my videos, I will list and link these organizers, not my underwear, in the description box below of this video. So now that you've gotten to know me a little bit better and you've seen what kind of organizers make my life easier and kind of declutter my mind and my life, Life. Um, if you have any organizing tips or organizer recommendations, I'd love to hear them. So let's get the conversation started in the comment section below. Um, but for now, I think that's it. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!